My favorite thing about you is you're spontaneous and fun to be with. My thing about you is you're smart. <laughs> I love your smile. I don't have to do anything but smile. That's all you have to do. I think my favorite thing about him was probably how he was raised. Um, like, he's just the definition of a gentleman. So where did we meet? We met in high school, bud, remember? Oh, yeah. Remember where you were? Um, in front of junior court, sitting on a ledge. Lyman Hall High School, 1980-something. Mm -hmm. Well, that was the start of it. Yeah, and then, you know, just walk to class and stuff like that, and we'd see each other in the hallway. I met Chris at track last season, outdoor season. He was a throwing leader, so I always kind of looked up to him. I think a lot of things can happen uh, that are important for people when they have a high school relationship that's significant. Chris and I started dating in the last few weeks of last year before summer started. Um, we're still dating now, but he has moved to Florida. He moved in July and it's been a couple months now and we're still dating. And I also see couples um, when they're looking towards graduation. Sometimes one person's going off to college and one person might be still a senior or a junior. Um, and those, that can be really tough on a relationship. Well, when you went to the, in the Navy, it was a struggle because there was no way to communicate except when you were allowed to make a phone call. What was it, once a week or something? You could use the phone. Right. So you left and there was, there was no cell phone, there was no texting, there was no, no Skype, computer, no, no computer. Yep. So it was either a handwritten letter, of which I don't think you wrote any. Not a good handwriter. So I had to wait for the phone to ring once a week. Obviously, we can't talk as much as we'd like to. I mean, he's a freshman in college and I'm a senior in high school, so obviously there's like conflicts with our schedules and everything. So that's probably the hardest part is not being able to talk as much as I want to with him. But we talk when we can, it makes it work. I do think it was harder because we were in high school. Yeah, because you're young. You're young and you know, you're still trying to figure out who you are, where you're going, what do you want to do in your life. Um, and your ideas of what you wanted to do and mine were completely different. different. Oh, yeah, so totally that, different. that made it harder. The negative parts of high school um, play, I guess, a little bit of a part in our relationship. Uh, obviously, there's stress with colleges. Like, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, other people, obviously, other people aren't going to be supportive sometimes, and you just got to, like, think of yourself, I guess, and the other person and how they just care about you and you just got to care about them too. I think long distance relationships are, are tough. There's unique challenges, but um, when we got to be talking again a few years ago, we used to do Skype. We talked online. Now you can text and, you know, anytime and having a cell phone makes it easy too. 30 years later, yeah. Um, so I think, you know, doing that, it was, it was helpful and then, you know, just planning things in between, you know, when can we get together. Long distance is obviously a struggle, but we make it work just because we talk and call each other, FaceTime, whatever, whenever we can, um, whenever we're not, like, working at night or having games at night. <laughs> My mom and I actually went to Florida a couple weeks ago, so clearly my parents support the long distance relationship and they love him. I mean, there's a picture of him on my fridge. There wasn't even a picture of me on my fridge. But I do know of some couples that have stayed together from high school on and they have been really lifelong, wonderful relationships. Um, I think there's a lot of challenges in that because kids often go to college and they often go to separate colleges. Um, but. I think absolutely if you can just pace each pace of those relationships well and grow with each other, you can definitely have relationships that can last a lifetime that start in high school. I think our relationship is better now than it was then, just because we're older and more mature and I think that we can appreciate each other's differences better than we did when we were younger.
I don't think there was ever a point where I wanted to give up with it. Um, as I like always remembered what this summer was like. We spent almost the entire summer together through like July and like just remembering how that was. He proposed on New Year's Eve. Uh, well, it would have been three years ago, right? And we were having friends come over that night and he proposed to me and I said yes. And we celebrated with yeah. everybody coming over. Because yeah. they didn't know, right? No, but they weren't surprised. I guess love is important just because it gives you motivation, I guess, to keep going through your day and knowing that there's somebody that cares a lot about you.